Hey everyone, so today I am 31 weeks and 3 days and I have some pretty um, sad, well, scary sad news for myself. I had to take the, uh, first I had the 1 hour glucose, glucose test tongue twister for me and then I had to take the two hour one and I failed both of them and I got diagnosed with gestational diabetes. I really hope I said the first word right because it's it's confusing to me. Um, and that is it's sad. Um, I'm really it's like I don't know like Everything was going perfectly fine and everything was great and then all of a sudden this happens and like for the longest time I was terrified something bad was going to happen and then finally when I eased up and I did, I'm like this is going great, the pregnancy is going well and then something happens and it happens to, what was it, the one website said like 13% of uh, pregnant women, the other one said something else. My uh, OB is making me an appointment with a diabetes clinic in my hospital, and I'm guessing I'm gonna have to, you know, prick the fingers and um, see what my blood sugar level is at, or blood how high my blood is. I, I forget what the word is right now that I'm trying to think of. Hopefully, I can understand what I'm trying to say here, but. That's what I think is going to happen, and then I'm going to have to really watch what I eat, and I don't know, I feel shitty because, like, I feel like this is kind of my fault, like, I ate the really unhealthy food, I ate the greasy food, I wasn't watching really what I was eating very much, and I really should have been watching, and I, I feel really responsible for this, and I feel like shit, basically. <laughs> I feel really, really shitty about this. But, and also uh, another sim or another reason why people get uh, gestational diabetes during pregnancy, um, one symptom is if you were, um, not symptom, but if you were overweight weight prior to being pregnant, then you have a high chance of getting it during your pregnancy. And I was overweight for my height. And, every, and my age it says the BMI thing so yeah and I feel shitty about that too again because I could have been watching what I was eating prior to being pregnant I could have lost the weight because I was down at a decent decent weight there for a while and then you know you move out and you get comfortable and you eat and you don't exercise and you don't watch what you're eating and I just I do I feel like this is basically all my fault but <sighs> Uh, <laughs> my cat just photo or my cat just um what's that called it's not well, it wouldn't be a photo bomb it'd be a video bomb my cat video bombed me <laughs> um so yeah i just i really feel like this is my fault and i feel pretty pretty down about it but i'll keep you guys posted on what's happening but Another scary thing that also happened to me was I had a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of bleeding. Uh, when was it? Monday. Monday. Um, it was like about, you know, like a Q-tip at the top. It wasn't, it wouldn't be soaked with blood. It would just be probably all uh, pinkish red. That's as much blood as I had like all together. And so Ben was at work and I had to call him. And I said, can you come take me to the hospital? I need to go to the hospital. I need to make sure everything is okay. And then he came like really, really quickly. He, um, he, was, he was more scared than I was. I was extremely calm. And I don't know, I, I think I had like, I don't know. I just, I was really calm about it. I was scared, but I was very calm. And they did like uh, a quick ultrasound thingy right in the ER or the little room I was in but then I also had to go get a full ultrasound the next day which was yesterday which was Tuesday and so Ben had to stay home with me that whole day then too because we um they were gonna call sometime between 7 a.m. in the morning till whenever and our my appointment they called around like 
9.30, I think, and then my appointment was for 12.30, and so then we got the full ultrasound done, and then I had to go to the emergency and sign in there to get my test results. It was gonna take an hour after the ultrasound was done to get the results, and when I finally got into the, into see the uh, doctor, it was actually really, really quick. Um, every, he said that everything looks fine, that there's, there's nothing that he's worried about or anything, that everything looks good. And I got actually a piece of paper here from uh, from the doctor about my test results. And it actually has um, the sizes of the baby, like how many weeks it is, if that makes any sense. I'll I'll read to you what it is and then you'll kind of figure out what it is what I mean by this. So right now I'm 31 weeks and three days, and this was done yesterday, so I was 31 weeks and two days yesterday. And the uh, BPD, which I looked that up, and the uh, internet says it's from ear to ear, so that's what that means from ear to ear, is 34 weeks and one day. So from here to here, he's a lot older than what he actually is, if that makes sense. His head circumference is 32 weeks and five days. His abdominal circumference is 34 weeks and five days. His femur length is 32 weeks, one day. And his estimate weight was four, I think it was just an even four pounds, uh, which is 22, 2,241 grams. I had to do the whole Google math and figure out what that was in pounds because I have no idea. And he is 87 percentile for gestational age. So I'm guessing he's like, out of 100%, he's 87 percent there. I'm assuming that that means, I don't actually know what that means. But, and then it says that, um, where does it say? Fetus has shown slightly greater than expected interval growth uh, and another uh, symptom of having gestational diabetes you have a larger baby because your blood sugar I can't keep your blood sugar what is that what it is blood, sh blood sugar at a normal rate because your bot or your pancreas isn't creating enough insulin to keep up with it and then uh, the baby grows bigger and which could mean that uh, the baby will come earlier because it will get too big and it also could mean that I'll have to get a c-section instead of giving birth uh, vaginally because a lot of complications could happen with a really big baby uh, vaginally giving birth and that doesn't upset me if I have to get a c-section because um, I, I was I was gonna deliver like vaginally I wasn't gonna get a c-section if I didn't need it but if I need a c-section I need a c-section I'm not upset about this I am not one of those women that like, I really, really wanted to give birth vaginally. It's whatever is the best for the baby. That's what I wanted to do. And if that means having a C-section, that means having a C-section. Then I don't get to have the vaginal birth. But you know what, if, that, if that's what's gonna help my baby be better, then that's what I have to do. Um, so yeah, that was uh, my scare. And I haven't had any bleeding since. And I also found out I had a bladder infection that uh, they said that's probably where the bleeding may have came from was because I had a bladder infection. And so now I'm on pro antibiotics. I'm, antibiotics, is that what it's called? I don't know. But I'm on pills to get rid of my bladder infection. Um, and my, again, my OB has to call me again for my appointment about my, for a diabetes clinic in my hospital so I'm just waiting for a phone call from her I don't know how long it's gonna take I hope not long because I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to be eating what I'm not supposed to be eating obviously no bad foods it's out of the question now um, but like how much of st stuff I'm supposed to be eating I know you're supposed to watch your carbs a lot and I've honestly never watched my carbs or my sodium or anything like that I have watched calories before and I've watched uh, somewhat of fat intake but I've never done this so I really hope soon that I'll have this appointment and I can go to it so I know what I'm supposed to be doing because I'm pretty nervous and another um, symptom I've been having lately is oh, extreme 
extreme uh, back pain, but it's not like 24 seven. It's like almost like the sciatic nerve, like when it's pinched and then sometimes it really, really hurts. But I've had that pinched before and this feels different. I don't know if maybe it's the same, but for some reason it feels a bit different. But it usually happens in the mornings and when I turn to one side and it's always on my left side at my uh, at the like the top of my butt cheek basically on my left side so I had to figure out if that was actually my left side and it's like a really 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 sharp sharp pain it lasts for about a minute and like I'm in like a lot of pain I'm like sitting there like ow 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 until it goes away and it's really painful and it goes away and it usually happens just about like once once a morning and not always every day but I've only noticed it recently, like this week, basically. And I don't know, it could be that I pinched my sciatic nerve and then when sometimes when I turn a certain way, then it, it gets like pinched or something and then it's like really painful. And then also the bottom of my um, my legs, my, what, what are these called? <laughs> the thing here for a second. My calves, that's the word. My calves at the back of them, at the back of them. Um, sometimes in the morning I'll stretch my leg because I'll be like half sleeping and stretch it and Then I don't know I feel like I sh pull something and then I have an extremely short pain again in there and it lasts for Probably less than a minute, but it's like it is painful like to the point where you're crying painful It hurts so bad and then it goes away and I don't know why that happens It's I don't know what I do when I'm halfway sleeping stretching my leg, but I'm doing something really weird um, and then, uh, just some, a little bit of swelling, not much, in my feet, and I noticed the one day a little bit of swelling in my hands, because when I was going like this, I had that, like, that, I couldn't close it all the way, like, what I normally could, and I had that really weird feeling in it, if that, if you can, if you know what I mean. Um, but I think that's basically it for symptoms, and I will, uh, like, with, my gestational diabetes, I'll keep you guys posted on um, what's been going on. Well, posted, I mean, on my pregnancy videos, but I'll make sure that I talk about it, that I, um, that you guys know what's happening, and hopefully, 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 everything goes good, and I feel really shitty about this, but, you know, sometimes I guess it just happens, and you can't help it. <sighs> So I'm just gonna go ahead now and go ahead now and show you guys my 31 week and three day belly. All right, so here's from the front. I don't know if you can really see anything. Inside. The other side. Alright, so thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!